Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Greg. Oh! Merry Christmas. Can you say that now? We can, it's not long. What? Uh, coming up on today's episode, we have got Christmas Idents Part 2 and Christmas Top of the Pops. Not off. Well, Greg, everyone enjoyed our Christmas idents the other week. Did they? Yes, and they'll be pleased to know that it's Christmas idents part two today. 1983 and 1984 coming your way right now. On BBC One, at 5.25, the excitement of the Circus World Championships. At 6.25, the Paul Daniels Magic Christmas Show, illusion and fun in a special Christmas package. At 7.15, the Kenny Everett Show. My name's Jim <laughs> At 7.50, Rocky, the Oscar-winning film set in the tough world of professional boxing. At 9.45, Lenny Henry presents Laughing Matter, 50 minutes of classic comedy. At 10.35, Kiri and Friends. At 11.35, the secret of the treasure of Abbot Thomas is revealed, but the Abbot has set a guardian. Entertainment on BBC One. So that was Boxing Day 1983 on the BBC, Greg, and I know what you're going to say straight away. You don't like it, do you? For one reason. One reason only. The Kenny Everett television show. Greg's got a bit of a thing about Kenny Everett. Now, some people don't like clowns. Greg doesn't like Kenny Everett. However, I think that was a pretty good lineup for a Boxing Day evening, up until about 10.25. Rocky, Greg. You don't want to watch Rocky? Circus. Remember when they put the circus on the TV in the 80s? Fantastic. I used to be in the circus. I was a trapeze artist, Jason. Really? Yeah, but they let me go. That's not joke time. Oh, it is. You're not getting another one in. Oh. And uh, Paul Daniels' Christmas Magic Show, Greg. Oh, fantastic. Shall we? Have a look what was on ITV that same year. Well, that's the channel I would have been on. Well, how do you know? Because Kenny Everett's on. <laughs> Christmas entertainment on ITV. And tonight at 8.45, Eric and Ernie's Christmas show. Hello. Don't miss Malcolm and White, Boxing Day, 8.45. Remember, Boxing Day, 8.45. And he looks it. An hour-long special, Eric and Ernie's Christmas show, is later tonight at 8.45 on ITV. Tomorrow at 5.30 on ITV, the enchanting tale of the wind in the willows. Kenneth Graham's Edwardian classic, The Adventures of Toad, Ratty, Mole and Badger, brought to life in a feature-length animation. A gentle, lyrical, forgotten world, the wind in the willows. Tomorrow at 5.30 on ITV. For movie fans, don't forget it's Bond at 6.30. Later tonight at 12, Jack Nicholson and Warren Beatty in The Fortune. But now, the Pimpernel. So that was your alternative to Kenny Everett there, Greg. The Morecambe and Wise show and some films. Bond and The Fortune. I think I would have been on my ZX Spectrum Plus you, 2. That you'd had for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. I Although think. Plus 2 wouldn't have been out there, would it? No, not in 1983. No, it would have been just a Spectrum, wouldn't it? Yeah. The Sinclair. Yeah. I'd have been playing that. To be honest, I wouldn't have been doing anything because I would have been three. Entertainment for Christmas Day on BBC One. At 5.30, Les Dawson hosts a special Christmas edition. And at 5 past 6, Heidi High. I didn't expect all the girls to come as M3 Bogarts. They're just being silly. I wonder if you thought of coming as Ingrid Bergman. I did. <laughs> At 6.35, the Paul Daniels Magic Christmas Show Surprise Celebrities. 25, Paul Nicholas and Jan Francis star in a Just Good Friend special. It's nothing like a bike ride, is there? No. Do you enjoy it? 
Wonderful. At five to nine, the two Ronnies. We are a couple of stereo sentence. See us in a place of work. At five past ten, Wogan. A whole raft of exciting and entertaining guests for you. All of us probably the worst for drink. But among them will be Elton John and Freddie Starr, Kiri Tikanawa and Victoria Principal, all the way from America. And at 5 to 11, Some Like It Hot, starring Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon, and Marilyn Monroe. Feeling gay, reckless too. Carefree mind all the time, never blue. Entertainment for Christmas Day on BBC One. Jason, now we are talking, my talking, friend. That we? is Christmas Day at its Tell best. You what, though, Paul Daniels got a lot of work in them days, didn't he? I'll oh, forget him. The rest of it is fantastic. Look at that. Let's go through it, Jason. Christmas blankety blank. And Les blankety Dawson. blank was only blankety blank for me when Les Dawson took over. Well, I don't know. Terry Wogan did a good job before. Maybe Les it's Dawson. boring. No. Heidi High. No, we need to have, we need to have a massive no, debate about we that. Don't. We'll do it off camera. Heidi High. Heidi Ho. Brilliant. Paul, Paul Daniels Daniel, Magic Show. Just good friends. Rob what Penn. Penn. <laughs> the two Ronnies, obviously, classics. Then the main news and Wogan and a film to finish off, Greg. Some like it hot. I mean, that's Christmas, isn't what it? What more could you ask for on Christmas Day? Well, Superman should have been in there, shouldn't it? Maybe. Maybe. The best in entertainment this Christmas on ITV. Among the very special seasonal highlights, Bring Me Sunshine, an all-star tribute to Eric Morecambe, OBE. They came in the pair of American Ernie. Eric bought a bottle of vintage champagne. Ernie took it home with him. Watch the Grumbleweed Christmas show. Decorate the tree. And watch the Grumbleweed Christmas show. Hang up your stuff. And watch the Grumbleweed Christmas show. Stop the bed. Watch punchlines and spot the celebrities. I came into the London Weekend television car park today. It's packed out with sledges and reindeers. <laughs> Hi, Tarby here. Just to remind you of my special Christmas edition of Tarby and Friends. Hello, everybody. Just to remind you to join us the Saturday before Christmas for a special Christmas edition of 321 called Pantomania. And we'll be here to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas on the Surprise Surprise Christmas Show. Play your cards right. Bruce is here. To see you. Come on, Elvin, you should know me by now. Correct. Half a Ross Abbott with his Christmas madhouse and on target for fun. All the stars are in with us. A lot of money for charity. We really have. We'd love you to join us. So don't be late. Christmas with Bullseye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas everybody. <laughs> the entertaining promise of Christmas on ITV. So that was Christmas on ITV, Greg. Not as good, but... Still a million times better than TV now. Yeah, a and million. to be fair, that was uh, the entertainment the promo for ITV over the Christmas period, not one day like we just saw for... Yeah, but I've been watching What's On Christmas this year, 2015, and the only thing I've seen is the drama called Downton Abbey that's been advertised, and of course all the soaps that we have in this, in There's this country. There's lots of people who like Downton Abbey, Greg. I'm not saying they don't. I'm not saying they don't. However, that's variety. That's However, depressing. It's not. The Grumbleweed Christmas Special, is it? Bullseye Christmas Special. And there was a tribute to Eric Morecambe, who we'd obviously lost that year. Um, another person we've now lost, Scylla Black on there. Surprise, surprise. Um, 3, 2, 1. Tarby's Christmas and Friends. Play your cards right. Russ Abbott's Madhouse. Say no more, really. Danton Abbey. That's what I've seen this year. That's it. And EastEnders is going every single day over Christmas. Christmas charts aren't what they used to be, are they, Greg? They're not, are they, Jason? I don't even know what's in the charts at the moment. I've no idea. So why don't we take a look back at one we will remember, Greg? 1985. 85. Should we do it? Let's do it. All right, then. Uh, at number 10, it was... Um... No, 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 no. no. You've got to do it properly, Jason. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do the radio version. <laughs> Here okay. we go. Over to you, Jason. It's the top 10, 1985. Down from 32 at 10, it's Last Christmas and Everything She Wants by Wham. One, two, test, test, one, two. At number nine, up 17, it's Santa Claus is Coming to Town, that's with Bruce Springsteen. Down five at eight, it's test. Dress You Up by Madonna. Pardon? Dress You Up by Madonna. I've never heard of it, have you? Dress You Up? Just get on with it, Greg. Uh, what number are we on? 
Seven. Oh, at number seven, it's the uh, poptastic 1985 song Separate Lives with Phil Collins. Down three at six, it's See the Day by D.C. Lee. D.C. Lee. You don't know who that is, do you? No, no. At number five, it's West End Girls. It's the uh, wonderful poptastic Pet Shop Boys. Down two at number four, Test. I'm Your Man by Wham. Oh, did I again? <laughs> I'm Your Man by Wham. Yes. At number three, it's... Oh, it's all... It's Band-Aid. Do they know it's Christmas? Up ten at number two, it's my favourite, Shaking Stevens and Merry Christmas, everyone. Move on, Greg. You were in the fan club, weren't you? What's number one? And at number one, 1985, Christmas number one, surprisingly wasn't a Christmas song. It was Whitney Houston, Saving All My Love. That's the end of another top-tastic tea and toast, Greg. Top-tastic? I'm in top of the pops mode now, mate. Top of the pops, top-tastic tea and toast? Yes. Wow. There you go. So we will see you again on Monday.